A look at a short-term senior rehabilitation facility in the park is our cover story this week, plus plenty of upcoming summer activities to experience life in the park, and more news you can use. Welcome to this week's edition of Life in the Park. I'm Scott Smith. In our cover story, Jane Kim tours the multi-million dollar St. Louis Park Villa Healthcare Facility. That's coming up, but first, here's news you can use. Join your friends, family and neighbors for one of the hottest events all summer, the 2015 Fire Department Open House. The event will be held Tuesday, June 9th from 5 to 8 p.m. at Fire Station 1, 3750 Wooddale Avenue South. This year's open house will include displays and demonstrations for people of all ages to enjoy. Plus, great food and drinks to beat off the summer heat at a price that can't be beat. It's all free. Hennepin County is holding a spring community collection event for county residents to safely and properly dispose of unwanted garden and household hazardous wastes. Items are accepted for free and must only be household waste. Business waste is not accepted. The collection event will be at the St. Louis Park Middle School, 2025 Texas Avenue, on Thursday through Saturday, June 11th through the 13th, from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Check the city website, stlouispark.org, for items acceptable for collection. Hennepin County is no longer accepting electronic waste at event collections. Electronics are still being accepted at the permanent facilities drop-offs located at 1400 West 96th Street in Bloomington, and at 8100 Jefferson Highway in Brooklyn Park. You may call 612-348-3777 or visit hennepin.us slash dropoffs for hours, directions, and accepted materials at these sites. The St. Louis Park Rec Center Outdoor Aquatic Park has opened as of June 5th. It's located at 3700 Monterey Drive, and it's a favorite among local families, providing a number of fun water activities all summer long. Hey, Parktacular is just about here. Time to splash into summer June 18th through the 21st. And right now is a great time to purchase your Parktacular button, which entitles you to a bunch of free stuff and helps to support our summer celebration. Buttons are available now at St. Louis Park Rec Center, City Hall, uh, Lenox Community Center on Mentonka Boulevard, Citizens Independent Bank, and at various St. Louis Park events prior to Parktacular. Attention seniors 55 and better and uh, empty nesters as well. The Parktacular Fiesta is scheduled for Thursday, June 18th at the Marriott Minneapolis West, 9960 YZ Boulevard. Events begin at 4.30 p.m. MC Bob Ramsey will give the welcome at 5 o'clock, followed by the Senior Ambassador Coronation and dinner. There will be free gift bags for all, door prize drawings, and a cash bar. Entertainment provided by local Latin sensation Salsa Brosa, musical trio and talented dancer. Registration and $15 per person payment deadline is June 12th and can be mailed to Lenox Community Center, 6715 Minnetonka Boulevard, St. Louis Park 55426, or dropped off at Lenox Community Center, or mailed to Parktacular, 3700 Monterey Drive, St. Louis Park, Minnesota, 55416. Park the Street is just around the corner. The event will take place on Sunday, June 7th from noon to 4 p.m. and will take place on Texas Avenue between Minnetonka Boulevard and 28th Street. Come join your neighbors and friends and participate in free events like games, music, street art, dance and yoga. Volunteers also are needed for setup as intersection ambassadors and participant counters, as uh, also as Cedar Lake Trail greeters, as fly and crosswalk monitors, and for cleanup, of course. Contact Laura Smith at lsmith at stlouispark.org if you're interested, and visit the link below for more details. And now to our cover story. Life in the Park got the chance to sit down with St. Louis Park's Villa Healthcare to talk about their newly renovated facilities and how they will benefit local residents. Villa Healthcare is a long-term care um, organization that focuses on providing services to seniors in several communities in the upper Midwest. Uh, we have operations in Illinois, in Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Um, Villa Healthcare has been a part of the Twin Cities for about a year and a half. Uh, we purchased three facilities in the Twin Cities 
um, in August of 2013. In St. Louis Park, um, our focus is on the short-term rehabilitation services. Um, we have a 37-bed a suite recovery unit or a short-term rehabilitation unit and that's our primary focus at the facility in St. Louis Park. We do provide long-term care services as well. Well the transitional care unit as I said is 37 beds um, and we just finished the complete renovation. Uh, we have 37 private rooms um, that are dedicated to the short-term rehabil rehabilitation uh, residents. Um, the typical length of stay for those individuals would be about 30 days in our facility. So they'll come from the hospital after an injury or an illness and they'll need some level of rehabilitation or recovery services. So they'll come with us or they'll come stay with us for about 30 days and, and really focus on getting better, um, building their strength so they can go back home and succeed and, and, and live a fruitful life back at home after their rehabilitation services. Um, so that's really the primary focus. Um, what sets us apart at this facility, um, I, th I think, are three things. One is um, the physical plant. And as you tour and take a look at the facility here today, you'll see that we've invested several million dollars in the facility here. Um, and it looks upscale, it looks very luxurious here in the facility, which you'll certainly enjoy. Um, we also, with that, we also provide private rooms or private suites to everybody that stays here in the facility. Um, the other thing that sets us apart is the level of care that we provide. Um, the Minnesota Department of Health uh, was just out on their annual survey um, and they found that we had no deficient practices with care and the service that we provide the residents here in the facility. Um, it's not unheard of. Those sorts of surveys do happen, but it's not common. Um, and we're very proud of the, the care and the service that we provide here. We have an individual or a group of individuals um, and their job is dedicated to um, meeting the needs and exceeding the expectations of the residents that we have here in the facility. So the folks that we're really trying to cater to and, and we're really trying to show this space to um, are individuals that live within the community, whether it's individuals whose parents or grandparents might need this service or individuals themselves that might need this service as well. Uh, we hope to have um, discharge planners, social workers, nurses from local hospitals, referring hospitals come to the facility and see what uh, services that we provide. And we hope that you never need our service, but we're here when it is needed. Um, if you ever want to come out and take a tour, um, talk to us, um, get to know us. We're happy to, uh, to hear from you and, and talk to you as well. Thanks to Jane Kim for our cover story and to Stephanie Signori for the tip. For more information, check out villa at stlouispark.com. Next week, we'll head out to the brand new Xfinity Experience Customer Service Center with Reg Dunlap. That's at Excelsior and Grand. And remember, you can keep up to date in the park by visiting our Facebook page at facebook.com slash St. Louis Park. So that's it for this edition of Life in the Park. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Park TV. <laughs>your Partacular Minute, our Splash Into Summer celebration here in St. Louis Park, June 18th to the 21st. For this minute, let's talk being active. Partacular is full of activities that get you up and moving for good health and a great time. New this year, it's the Leaps and Bounds Obstacle Course. Partacular's own Wipeout adds to the all-age fun of water slides, inflatables, and games on June 20th. Enjoy 10 active attractions, including the world's largest hippo water slide, Water Wars, High Striker, and more. A $15 wristband gives you unlimited access all day or $2 per ride. Swimwear is required for water slides. Free active fun includes kayak and canoe rides, a 25-foot climbing wall, and skate park. Plus, dance free all night long at Rock the Block on June 19th and 80s night on June 20th. Come see us at Park the Street June 7th and the Fire Station Open House June 9th. Visit parktacular.org for details. And that's your Parktacular Minute. See you next week.